Thank you for being here, listening for uh, this uh, joint presentation with uh, Gilles Bourron. Uh, I'm Francois Lecomte from uh, Lobari, and Gilles and myself, we have a long habit of working together. Uh, we have been uh, thinking a lot on uh, a couple of uh, subjects, uh, mainly related to uh, contactless deployments in all the total network in Europe, and also the strategy for acceptance, um, any kind of uh, mobile wallet or solutions acceptance. And today we'll be uh, uh, giving a pitch on uh, linking uh, mobile payment to marketing. Uh, the first part is uh, explaining what kind of uh, challenge uh, we, are, we are facing on, on that matter. And then uh, Jill uh, will illustrate on how he's applying those kind of uh, information and uh, uh, trying to build uh, the, the next strategy to engage customers, satisfy, and uh, deliver the best experience on the gas stations. Next. So this is the, pretty, the, the agenda, so for just a, a reminder, you can go next slide, please. So that, that's my uh, details. If you like my presentation, feel free to call me. And uh, if, uh, if you have also some good consultancy for needs, uh, just, uh, just call me, please. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, all right, so thank you, Sami, for the, the very clear uh, introduction. Uh, we, we like the way you're presenting the, the different manner of, uh, of paying, which one, one way uh, could be associated to the card, and the other way is associated to uh, kind of a wire transfer. ATH, and uh, we we uh, concretely on the field we we are uh, expressing that on on three different categories uh, as per the, the the retail approach. The first one is uh, really what we can do uh, as part of a universal uh, payment method. What is uh, by nature accepted because you are Visa or because you are Mastercard, because you have the contactless payment infrastructure, then you can accept any Visa or any Mastercard, or you can accept any universal mobile payment uh, solution as soon as this payment solution is certified Visa and MasterCard and as soon as, of course, on your terminal side, you are up to date with the last software version to, to do it the, the right way. And uh, there are also other methods that require uh, this kind of a private extended network where um, someone in the middle, uh, in uh, it's a third tier uh, model, uh, is in, in the middle and is uh, seducing customer on one side on, uh, to get some benefit in, in special merchant. And on the other side, some merchant, they accept to, to get that, that payment method. Uh, sometimes this method is associated to, uh, again, a Visa MasterCard card, but it's not working as per the, the normal scheme. Uh, it's working because there, there is a man in the middle. And that's the case uh, with the Yapital solution in Germany or recently Fiverr in France. So, and uh, we have also other new meta that are appearing. Um, uh, Secure in uh, Sweden has a pretty big success, actually. Uh, Zap in the UK. Um, so those uh, those players, they are uh, working the, the other way. I mean, uh, getting the IBAN from the customer and from the uh, from the merchant, and then you can reconcile the the, the money. And uh, the the next one is uh, online online payment solution, and they start to apply for proximity payment as well. Uh, we. Uh, for PayPal is certainly one of the biggest challenges they have. And we are also seeing a solution like PayLib, uh, V.me by Visa or Masterpass that are uh, by nature e-wallets, but they are finding application when they are linked to Beacon or other, other stuff to uh, allow uh, proximity payment. And um, the, the next challenge beside that is not only the payment, um, the, the real challenge is how you can seduce the, the, the consumer, uh, how you can deliver a big value for the, the end user of the mobile. And the, what is interesting with what uh, Apple recently announced uh, in Apple Wallet is you can pay in one gesture and do two things together. The first thing you can do, the universal payment, like you do actually with Apple Pay. But the other thing is if you have other merchants an application, let's say Total, have the application on the iPhone. And this application is compatible to uh, Facebook, no rename as a wallet. If the customer is in Roy, could just add the cookie of the Total app in the wallet, and when he will be paying in Total, 
assuming Total has made the job on the other side, of course, and on the terminal side, then it will be crediting, uh, credited if there are coupons. Uh, it's getting a, a one euro discount on, the, on oil, for example, and then it will get automatically that discount. And also it could be credited on the uh, loyalty points. And for the, the next time, for 10, 10 times in the Total station, it's getting, a, uh, I don't know what, uh, <laughs> uh, any cookie or something. And so that's um, that's uh, the real promise, and that is really interesting in uh, in Apple Pay. Uh, I s seriously believe that Apple Pay alone, or Android Pay, or any kind of mobile payment solution alone, is not uh, enough to seduce consumer. What really is interesting is the way you can link that payment method with the screen and with all the value of the mobility and the smartphone, and then the challenge for the merchant is to make the customer happy with what is delivered. Next. So some some of the challenge uh, you have on uh, on that side as as a merchant is first of all to make sure that your infrastructure is compatible with uh, the universal payment acceptance. It should be easy. Um, it's not as easy as it uh, looks like. For example, if you if you are in France and you want to do contactless, if your uh, acquiring bank uh, is um, on the groupement carte bancaire uh, scheme, uh, they are actually uh, three different built-in software. On, on your terminal. So if you do not have the last one, uh, sometimes you may have good in some issues in acceptance. Uh, Total has solved that in uh, an interesting way. Maybe Gilles, you will have time to, to explain that. And uh, also you need to develop customer habits. Uh, paying uh, contactless is, uh, is something uh, emerging. Uh, we will see some figures uh, soon, but um, uh, yeah, the many customers they have a contactless card in the wallet and they just don't know. And also sometimes the experience may be difficult because the card is not well placed on the terminal. And so there is significant effort to be done also with employees, with all people that are customer facing, so that they can react. They can react with card. It's even much more difficult with uh, mobile because the antenna is not always at the same place. Um, also, it's important to to have a real a strategy on uh, M wallet acceptance. Uh, as we covered yesterday on, on that topic, uh, there are um, opportunities, but there are also risks for disintermediation. So you need to balance, uh, am I? Oh, I need to <laughs> quick a little bit. Um, you need to um, decide if you are investing in your uh, software uh, for terminal and in your M wallet strategy to accept Apple Pay and M wallet or not. And also you need to decide if you want some, some specific merchant in the case of Fivory, um, for example, in all the city of Boulogne in, in close to Paris, uh, many uh, retailers, they are accepting. So therefore they have created a, a massive acceptance area as uh, it's really local. It's not a countryside. It's a really city side. And, and then the challenge is uh, as soon as you have this, how you satisfy the customer? What kind of a specific uh, reward are you able to, to forward? Because for big retailer, most of them, they have a national strategy or international strategy. They, they are not prepared for a very, very extremely local strategy pushing the right reward at this specific point of sale and at this specific customer. That's an extremely difficult challenge. Next. And uh, well, that's uh, was introducing, and that's uh, in fact that's the point of the overall digital uh, proximity. Uh, it's a job of the uh, chief digital officer in in companies, uh, uh, tuning the CRM system, delivering one to one, uh, thinking on, on how you can manage multiple OS. Uh, you need to do the effort if you want to accept Apple Wallet. You need to do the effort if you want to accept Google Wallet, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. If you have ten different to do, you can imagine the kind of complexity we are facing. Next one. And here is another representation of that challenge. This slide is uh, sometimes a little bit hard to uh, detail, but we basically we've got three layers here. And the the first layers is really uh, application that that are by nature um, not made to to get a, a customer enrollment. It's not required to have the name of the customer, the who we are, how old he is. So that's the first place. And, and many applications on that side, they are made on, on geomapping. So most smartphones, they already have their own mapping system that is installed. And that's the first one normally the customer will watch on. When you are a, mer a merchant, your challenge is to integrate 
the shop lo location, if you have many shops, of course, in your own application, in the Total App or in the Carrefour or Auchan App, uh, where is the next Total Station? Th that's, that's one need. And also, there are other people that are doing a geolocalization. So if you want to have a, a common digital strategy, you need to address all this. Otherwise, you're just occupying 10% of the space. Uh, for example, if you are Total, it's important that in, in um, the map, that Apple is providing, your shop is referenced also. The people, they can find it, and then creating information to this information. The second layer is uh, CRM loyalty. The, we are getting next year, we are trying to get um, opt-in information from the customer. And again, on that side, if you have your own app, you will lose a significant part of your customer. Not too many customers, they will accept to disclose their own data. While they will maybe do it more easily in this place, because on the wallet they have the choice with multiple other um, merchants, or they will do it in something that is convenient. We have Feedme in France, it's very basic stuff. It's one small wallet where you can enter all your loyalty card you have on it, and you just show the QR code or the, the barcode, and it's done. And uh, the biggest challenge, of course, is mobile payments. Again, if you've lost uh, a significant part here, you will lose, again, more people. There are less people that will leave you their credit card reference or, or thing, stuff like that. And then you have a challenge for acceptance of very uh, universal or other method and sometimes integrate it in your system. And in order to create that interaction, you have a big bench of solutions. You've got NFC, so it could be NFC universal, contactless EMV, could be NFC uh, description, like uh, Fivery, it's not uh, EMV, but it works also on, uh, on the EN NFC. You have uh, seen a solution that are based on the QR code, secure, I think it's, it's based on the QR code uh, interaction. And you have all the this new emerging Bluetooth solution that uh, helps you to, to pay when you are in a shop, but not uh, doing it uh, card present. So that's the, the introduction, a couple of challenges we have covered with Gilles uh, really in deep, and that's just a very fast overview. And Gilles, I'm happy to give you the microphone. Thanks, Francois. So my point will be to, to explain you uh, what we are doing uh, concretely. So just a few words about me. So I'm um, working for Total Marketing and Service in charge of the, all the networks of Total uh, worldwide. Uh, so it's mainly uh, station services in uh, Europe and uh, Africa. Uh, and I'm in charge of uh, the strategy of uh, means of payment concerning acceptance and issuing us also for uh, fuel cards. So to give you some metrics concerning our activity, so it's uh, 6,000 uh, uh, gas stations in, uh, in Europe, uh, 15,000 worldwide, and in Europe, mainly in France, but also in Germany and Benelux. And to give you some figures concerning the payments we are accepting now, it's uh, 10 billion euros of uh, bank cards. It's also 10 billion euros of uh, uh, private cards, fuel cards. So it's a lot, very, very important for us. And uh, it's four billion of other means of payment, but uh, today it's, uh, it's cash. But we are also issuing so other type of cards, loyalty cards, 1.5 million in Europe, or some specific cards like uh, car wash uh, cards, but it's uh, 20, 20 million per year, or coffee cards, and so on. The main point is to say that we have uh, 4 million uh, customers uh, every day in our stations and that we are, uh, of course, a proximity retailer. Uh, the, 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 for the moment, the, the online, the internet activity is very, very, very small for us. So, uh, facing the, the profusion of means of payment, uh, I think it's very important for a uh, retailer to have uh, a strategy concerning the, 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 um, the way to decide what we are accepting or not. So we, we use uh, the tools that uh, uh, Francois described uh, with uh, three uh, types of means of payment, open loop uh, means of payment, and inside there are all uh, EMV-based uh, solutions. For, for me, uh, f Apple Pay is an open loop uh, uh, payment uh, accepted uh, like uh, other, uh, other cards, other contactless cards. On the other side, on the, 
On the right, uh, we have the closed loop means of payment, very important for us, I uh, described. And in the middle, all new stakeholders, new issuer, uh, with a value proposition, but also a necessity for us, if we are accepting it, to, to, to build something new uh, to, uh, to deal this, uh, to this payment. So to decide, not just before, to decide what we are doing, we have uh, three main criteria. So it's, uh, of course, a retail view. The first one is uh, treasury, including uh, all the uh, payment process, the back office process, question of cost, question of warranty of the payment, non revocability The second uh, criteria is the audience, the how, how uh, many people are uh, uh, using this uh, payment methods or could use it in the future. And the last one is the customer knowledge in the, cust in the merchant point of view. Uh, I, if I am able or not to, to communicate, uh, want to know the customer with the payment methods or not. So as you see, for open loop uh, means of payment, the treasury is good because we are in Europe. Uh, the audience is very good, but the customer knowledge for the moment is low. Concerning uh, closed loop uh, means of payment, the treasury is very good because it's, uh, the cost is lower than open loop uh, uh, means of payment cost. Uh, audience is quite good if you are a big retailer, and uh, the customer knowledge is very good. And for semi open loop uh, payments methods, so it's clearly very different from a stakeholder, from an issuer to another. Sometimes it's uh, quite good, like uh, uh, card payment. Sometimes it's very, very expensive. It could be 10 times uh, the cost of a card payment. And in this case, of course, it's a problem. Sometimes it's very expensive and there are no warranty. So in this case, it uh, could, be, could begin to be difficult for a retailer. Concerning the audience, some uh, payment methods are very well implement, uh, implemented, uh, particularly, uh, for instance, PayPal coming from the internet world. For the proximi proximity, it's just emerging. Uh, for the others, it's uh, always emerging. They have to create uh, their audience. And concerning the customer ledge, um, it's always the aim of the, the issuer, but sometimes he's sharing it with a merchant, some, sometimes not. So, uh, of course, we are preferring um, business model, uh, which uh, made possible for the merchant to, to, to speak to, to the customer. So, what is uh, our strategy concerning the, the three types of uh, pay, uh, payments method? So, the first one for open loop is clearly to accept and promote all EMV-based uh, new ways to pay, because in this case, it's new means of payment, it's just new ways to pay. Concerning uh, closed loop, it's adapt our offer and to improve the customer experience. And concerning uh, semi-open loop, it's more to study and uh, accept selectively the best solutions. So I will, will give you some figures concerning uh, these three uh, axes. So concerning open loop uh, strategy, we, uh, we op because we, are, we deployed a new acceptance uh, infrastructure in the beginning of the year, uh, we are now able to accept all contactless payments. So we, we opened this possibility in our network in France in April. And as you can see, uh, immediately we have uh, transactions. Uh, it was uh, around uh, 230, uh, 235,000 transactions per month during the summer. It was 13% of our card transactions under uh, 15 euros, uh, which were, was paid, uh, uh, were pay paid contactless. So it's clearly interesting because it's less cash for us. And uh, it was uh, very, uh, uh, we, we had more than uh, 1,070 uh, 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 stations involved in this uh, transaction. So uh, clearly, EMV pay, uh, NFC payment is now uh, in phase of general adoption in France, as we can see in other countries. But of course, for the moment, it's mainly cars. <laughs> but if we make a, a focus of 
concer uh, concerning the, this one, we can see uh, NFC mobile transactions. So it's a little bit difficult to identify, but we, we saw uh, more than 100, uh, 1,000 mobile transactions, sorry, uh, in, the, in the summer. So it was Orange Cash or SimCentric solution or Apple Pay coming from the US or the UK. And we are now, uh, uh, we are now ready to accept all uh, other NSC-based uh, uh, payment solutions. So, uh, and we will extend the acceptance of these uh, contactless payment uh, solutions. For instance, in November, uh, all ven cafe vending machines will be equipped in France to, for direct uh, NFC uh, bank card payments. And we will deploy this infrastructure in uh, Germany and Benelux uh, next year. So, um, concerning the semi-open loops, so the next slide, please. Um, strategy. Or, or, or HEM is more here to, to an R&D approach. So facing the large potential offer, we are deciding to, do, to, to make experimentation. So as uh, Francois explained, it was, uh, it's, it's forever in France because it's interesting in a marketing point of view. Yapital in, in Germany. And uh, Orange Money in Africa, uh, it's more than experimentation. In Africa, the context is very different. Uh, there are no cars. And for instance, uh, now in Senegal, uh, Orange Money is, uh, represents more than 25% of the, of, the, of the payments in uh, our station service in, uh, in this country. So it's, it's clearly uh, something uh, adapted to the context of the country. So next slide. And concerning the closed loop strategy, here it's more difficult. We have um, two axes in our strategy. It's uh, to diffuse NFC uh, capabilities. So we'll do it uh, for the coffee card and uh, later for, uh, for loyalty and, um, and uh, fuel, card, uh, fuel card. But the, the more interesting axis is to, to work on the different ways to dematerialize uh, these cards. And in our context, uh, we are proposing different services. It's fueling at the pump, but it's also to pay at the shop and uh, in front of the vending machine. So to dematerialize these uh, cards, uh, there are different, theoretically different solutions. It could be something based on the car, of course, but or something based on the badge for the toll or, or parking, or something based on the customer, uh, of the driver. And uh, our aim is clearly to have uh, to propose to, to offer uh, a seamless customer journey for all these activities in, in our uh, stations. So for that, the solutions are not so obvious. It's clearly more the mobile of the customer than uh, something based on the car or um, on a badge. But uh, it's the next slide, please. Uh, so what, what we are studying is. Uh, concept of merchant wallet in order to propose to the to, to offer to the to the customer to 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 enroll uh, its cart in our application so it's it's for loyal customer of course and uh, so the idea is to to propose uh, the dematerialization of the closed loop cards of couponing of course but also of bank cards if it's possible to to uh, to create something uh, which uh, make uh, uh, a card payment possible in our net networks. And for that, we have constraints. Uh, constraints, it's uh, the customer device, uh, if it's Apple or Android and so on. And uh, our aim is to have the most, uh, the, 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 the more possible uh, customers uh, involved. So it's difficult to choose uh, Apple or Android and so on. Uh, the other constraints is uh, the fact that uh, there is uh, an FC capabilities or not. And for this reason, for the moment, QR code is something uh, interesting because it's uh, universal. And uh, we, the last point is to, to have uh, a non-revocable payment because, of course, it's possible to accept a remote payment. But in this case, the risk of revocability is, uh, is high. So to do that, clearly, uh, something that uh, it's interesting for us, but there are no solutions which match uh, fully this uh, this uh, constraints, and um, so that's I think it was interesting for me to to show you what we want to do, uh, hoping that uh, some solution will appear, and I will give uh, give you the micro to François for the conclusion. Thank. You. There's only one slide left, um, please. 
Next one. Yeah, well, for the, the conclusion, there are so four, four points here. And uh, well, in the reality, we we are learning when working. Uh, the, the world is evolving so fast, so we need just to be prepared, have a, have a global overview, uh, strategize that, and, and learn when working. So having that global digital strategy is, uh, is a guideline, and then you can adapt uh, based on what's appearing uh, month after month. Uh, also, uh, being very careful on the acceptance and uh, having a great focus on uh, universal payments and uh, uh, good uh, management of the cost and also very important the non-revocability of the payments. So if you don't accept that payment is uh, revocable, uh, then uh, it could be a no-show. And um, also uh, consider first what is in the hand of the consumer uh, massively adopted. And uh, the last one is uh, be careful on disintermediation, uh, making sure that any solution you accept and any uh, marketing strategy you apply uh, leave to the merchant the control of the, the data and can protect the customer interest, but also protect the business of the merchant.